Stars for cheerleaders. Hometown Hoop Stars right now. Hello and welcome to Hometown Hoops here on NBC 25. I'm Jamie Edmonds. Those were the Hammity cheerleaders, but not the ones I talked to tonight. <laughs> I guess not. I'm Earl Lawrence, by the way. Sagging our Trojans, though, we're going to jump right into it. They hit a bump in the road last week when Arthur Hill rolled to a big win. But tonight, Saginaw looking to get back on their feet at Flint Northwestern and caught this game just over two minutes left. Saginaw up three. Keon Addison makes the first free throw but misses the second. Northwestern gets down the court. They get a shot up. First one off, second one in. That's Marcus Watson putting the Wildcats within two. On the other end though, Saginaw answers. Algernon Eichelberger, the shot, the foul. He would miss the free throw, but Saginaw still with the lead. Wildcats within two, under 20 seconds left, but Joseph Power, Powell intercepts the pass, and then on the other end, Markel Bradshaw putting the nail in the coffin. Trojans, nine and one, they avenge a halftime deficit. They win 56. 52. Good job. Clio at Swartz Creek. Check out the Dragons student section. They were feeling it. Clio scored the first two points, then Dragons on a run. JD Tisdale, spin move, and it's 4 2 Swartz Creek. Then Max Cummings just steals it away from Chauncey Bryant. Dragons, fast break. Tisdale again. Nice Ooh. dunk. You'll probably see that later. Now yep. check out this emotion after I think. He's feeling it as well after that 8 0 run. Mustang Bryant sees a lane, cuts the early lead in half. Then Jalen Arkwright, 4 3. But the Dragons, too much for the Mustangs. Swartz Creek wins 75 59. They go to 6 1. All right, now Birch Run looking for their first conference win tonight as they host Carroll. Start of the second half. Alexander Phillips to Dustin. Lowelzer, good for two. Caro down four. Then it's Taylor Ellis to Andrew Helm. Going up, Birch Run now up six. McCarroll's Matthew Saucer. He misses the jump shot, but it's recovered by Chadrick Bennett, who hits the, the long buzzer. shot at the buzzer. That's clutch. A two point game as we go into the fourth quarter. That's until Matthew Saucer. He hits the long two. Tying the game, Carroll coming out with the big win, 38-37. A low scoring affair in that one. All right, now some more boy scores for you, Fenton. They went 7-0. They beat Linden 59-42. The Tigers now 7-0 in the Flint Metro League, I should say 8-0 overall. And Saginaw right. Arthur Hill 9-0 after beating Davidson 64-48. All right, Arthur Hill rolling as well. 